Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress. It's Friday, so the knight rules. Every Friday I'll show you a position where the knight plays an important role. This is a game from Anatoly Karpov, the 12th world champion. He was the reigning world champion in 1977 when he had the white pieces in this game against the Hungarian grandmaster Ichvan Tsom. And this is the position after the 43rd move from Tsom, queen b1 to e4. Let's have a look at the position. If we count the pieces, we see that black has an extra pawn. But what also strikes the eye is white's king without any pawn protection. Yes, a lot of pieces are close to white's king, but there are no pawns to help protect the white king. Black is better here. The world champion got himself into a bad position. He played rook g3 here. Knight e3 check. King stepped aside and now knight takes g2, winning a piece. Because you cannot take the piece, because then it's checkmate. The rook is protecting the queen. So knight takes g2, wins a piece indeed. And Karpov is in trouble. He played rook takes g7 check. King takes and knight g3, hitting the queen. Queen went back to a8. And queen c7 check. White is looking for play against black's king. King h8 and rook d7. Queen and rook on the 7th rank. Very dangerous. Now this is a critical moment here. Knight g5 is the move. And it's the only move. And black is still winning with his extra piece. But some did not see all the variations. And he played knight f8. It looks like that move makes a lot of sense. Attacking the rook. Protecting the h7 square. But it's... A mistake. It's a blunder. Because now Karpov wins on the spot. It's the only winning move. Anything else loses. But this move, knight f5, the knight rules, wins for white. Black resigned here as he saw that he's now being mated by force. What a move, knight f5. Let's first look at the most obvious one. Let's take that knight. Well then, the queen switches back. Queen h2 check. And it's a force checkmate. King g8, queen g3 check, king h8 and mate on g7. Lovely. Very nice that switch back move from the queen. Som had undoubtedly missed that move when he played knight f8. So let's go back. What else can we try with black? We can of course take the rook. We had attacked the rook so let's take it. Knight takes d7. It doesn't help. We have the same switch back move. The same variation. Queen check, king f7, and this is checkmate again. No matter where the king goes, queen g7 is checkmate. So let's go back again. Knight f5 was played. What else can we do? We can try and cover the g3 square with queen f3 to make that mating variation that we just saw twice not possible. But then there is rook h7 check, which wins. Knight takes, and queen g7 is checkmate. And we see the same variation if we play queen b8, covering the h2 square, then the knight on f5 is still alive, which allows this checkmate sequence. What a move. Knight g3 to f5, winning the game. Anatoly Karpov, he's well known as being a great positional player, strategical player, but he also was very strong at tactics. You have to be, otherwise you won't become world champion. Hope you enjoyed this wonderful night move from Anatoly Karpov. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess 2 Impress channel and please leave a comment. If you like the video, if you like this series, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. This is Rick for Chess 2 Impress. Thank you for watching.